and our next and final speaker, the uh, CEO of the Algorand Foundation, Stacy Warden. She has uh, some announcements to make. And uh, you know what, she, is, she has started, we couldn't have anybody better during a bear market, galvanizing people, getting people excited, building community. So give it up for Stacy Warden, the Algorand Foundation CEO. <laughs> Cooper, come back up here on the stage. No, you don't need it, Mike. Come on up here. Can we have a round of applause for this man? Yeah, can we? Can we? Is he the best MC we could possibly have? He's just such a pillar of our community. And wow, you really can't see a damn thing when you're up no, here, can you? Wow, okay. But thank you so much. Oh, for thank you. Yeah. All, All right, right. okay. I am the only thing between you and alcohol. I, I just want to know that. Could you, could you guys uh, lock the door in back, please? I've got 45 minutes of remarks I'd like to make. Very technical, and nobody leaves. Nobody leaves until, until I'm done. What a day. Did everybody have a good day today? Yeah? I learned, I learned so much. I mean, it was everything. I mean, it was wide ranging from, from a woman in Zimbabwe able to finally assert her own identity to the most technical kinds of DeFi, to the most kind of bleeding edge kind of art, to the core infrastructure of what we're about with bridges. I mean, it was just such a wide ranging group of conversations. Um, you know, I, uh, I'm headhunting for a head of um, marketing and communications. And so the headhunter said, why don't you talk to the head of marketing at this other layer one? You're, you know, you're not going to hire the guy, but, um, you know, be good intel maybe. I was like, oh, yeah, that's a really good idea. So it was very, very well known layer one. I, I started interviewing this guy. And he said, you know, I said, kind of what are some of your comms problems? What are some of your marketing problems? And he said, you know. We have so many dApps and so many people building on our ecosystem, and so much of it is shit, you know, that the good ones have a hard time actually distinguishing themselves. You know, they have a hard time kind of differentiating themselves. And I thought, you know, that is not our problem. We are so much more of like a steady, quality, um, everybody is here because they're trying to make a difference in the world, they're trying to do something meaningful. And it's just a very different vibe in this community. So, you know, give you guys, give yourselves a round of applause. Cause I mean, you're, you're, you know, I think it's funny how it works. Like the community reflects the tech, you know, the quality of the tech is reflected back in the quality of the community and the quality of the community reflects back in the tech. And we're all, you know, we're all in it for the long term. We're all reliable. We're all trustworthy. And I think that's a pretty, that's a pretty interesting dynamic actually. Um, so, Carolina Carrasco, can you stand up or come up here too? I want to, I want everybody, where are you? Where are you? You better be in this room. Are you not in this room? Okay, all right. Uh, Carolina Carrasco, if anybody can find her, she's walking around in kind of a cute t-shirt and pair of shorts, and she was responsible for, here, uh, she, she, she needs to be thanked. Can you come up here, please? And Joanna and Autumn, and yeah, come on, take a bow. What, what is this, uh, an Autumn, are you up here too? And Noah and Ann, are you, are you guys here? You, yeah, all right, come on. These guys put a lot of, PG, did PG do anything for this? Should I bring him up or did he, nothing, okay, never mind. PG, you stay, you stay exactly where you are. All right, Noah, come on up. All right, Ann, where's Ann, is she up? Oh, she's not here, okay. So, take a bow, everybody. Thank you so much for helping put this on. What is this Pink Floyd? You, you know it's, it's, the, it's not the 1970s now. I see you're living the Napster and the, yeah, okay, all right. So thank you so much, you guys. I really appreciate you being up here. Okay, so I do have some announcements. First of all, Noah, right, with the state proofs? I mean, unbelievable, right? I mean, and 6,000 transactions per second. So how is that going to be meaningful? We need you guys to get us to 6,000 transactions, right? We need you guys to push us and then, you know, we'll go and we'll make them, we'll make them do throughput of, you know, 10,000 transactions per second. Per second, we're talking about per second. So you're going to push us by, you're going to be the ones that generate the activity on the chain that we're going to make us push to have the even the higher TPS. Okay, so I have some announcements. What was everybody's 
I'll, that was my what I'll take away slide. Okay, what was everybody's first LimeWire or most downloaded LimeWire song? Does anybody remember what they done? Does anybody, is anybody besides me here old enough, <laughs> old enough to remember LimeWire? Okay, what, what does any, shout out a song that you remember from LimeWire. Miss Jackson, okay. There was a 50 Cent song, too, I kind of remember being. Anybody else got one? Huh, what? How's it gonna be? How's it gonna be, okay. All right, thank God, there's a few people here that are older than 20. Um, we, so LimeWire is transitioning itself, transforming itself into a marketplace for digital collectibles. And so this is gonna be everything that is kind of like a musical asset, from rare releases to to live performances, to merch, to anything that you can now kind of tokenize and put on this marketplace. And um, guess what layer one blockchain they're gonna be using? Okay, Algorand. And you know, they are, their, their um, strategy, their go-to-market strategy is to partner. And so they've really started uh, small with Universal Music Studios to, um, and this is like, who is this, like Drake and Adriana and all of these, Ariana, you know, I'm old, so I don't know who these people actually are. I'm just throwing names out there, really. Um, and so, yeah, they're gonna build on, on Algorand, of course. And uh, they are also, they're gonna, they're gonna have a token, I think, too, which will also help kind of, you know, uh, juice the marketplace for these kind of things. So this is a very, you know about this, but it's a really important uh, partnership. We've been busy this year, if anybody hasn't noticed. So this is an important partnership uh, for us. Now, staying in this, like, retro mode, we are also, does anybody know what my next slide's gonna be? Napster, right. Okay, what's the first a song that you, uh, you know, and obviously you did this illegally. Does anybody remember their Napster, first Napster downloads? I won't tell, we won't tell. It's, uh, the statute of limitations is over. <laughs> okay, so they have also, um, they are also building on Algorand, and it's the same, it's almost the same as LimeWire, but it's a little bit different. This is about making sure that revenues accrue to the creators of music something that does not happen particularly well in a kind of a web 2.0 environment. So, so this is also a very important partnership for us. We're really looking, this is going to be about how to make sure that artists are much more than they are on, say, Spotify, rewarded for, the, for the, their fans, and also how to incentivize fans properly to listen to the music and to try new music and to recommend music, all of these kinds of behaviors that you, that you know go towards a robust creator economy. We're gonna kinda try to create the incentive structure for that um, uh, at, at Napster. And just to, just to um, emphasize the point, what layer one are they building on? Algorand, Algorand, okay. Now we're getting um, pretty serious. So there is a partnership now with the government of Nigeria and the government of Nigeria is going to use Algorand to um, make a like a digital IP marketplace. And so this is like trademarks, copyrights, patents, anything like this that Nigerians can now um, create easily, upload, and collect revenue streams based on their own intellectual property in various forms. This is a really big deal in a country where the government is not always that well trusted to to protect the, the, the digital rights that you have. And so they uh, picked a layer one to build this on. Does anybody have any ideas about what that layer one might be? Okay, thank you very much. I did pay a couple, I, but Bilal, he's always, he's so reliable, Bilal. You know, he's right there, you know, handing me my answers when I need him. Okay, but all of this, I mean, you know, paying creators, I mean, this is not very important, obviously. Who cares about creators? I mean, you know, digital IP in the most populous country in Africa, like, who cares, you know? Rights and, and, and making sure that artists run well back and forth, up and down, up and down a field is my understanding. And they, they, they kick this ball around. And um, yeah, I, I, you know, lots of people seem, 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 to, seem to really be into it. Uh, and so they have, they, um, I was saying this on somebody's uh, book, was it your podcast? Maybe I was kind of giving the origin story on this. They, you know, usually when you want to be a sponsor of a sporting event, what you do is you pay either the stadium or the team or whatever. You pay them a bunch of money. Your marketing department goes out and they, they sponsor and then you get your name on the inside. This of the happened in the exact opposite way, in a very kind of Algorand type way. Whereas FIFA said, look, there's a lot of potential with this like blockchain thing, right? You know, there's all kinds of things like wallets, maybe player trading, secondary sales. Like there's an NFT marketplace, of course. You know, they looked at uh, Top Shot's and they said, okay, well, how are we exactly, how are 
consultant, and the consultant actually spent a number of months doing the due diligence on all the different layer ones. And they picked Algorand and they came to us, they came to Silvio first and said, look, this is the kind of thing we're, gonna, we're trying to do, but we're so big, our name is so huge, like we can't mess this up, you know, so we need to. And so that's, that's what actually, you know, I would love to take the credit for this, but it wasn't incoming to us based on the quality of the tech at Algorand. And so that partnership is now, and people have been giving a little bit of trouble to us on social media about like, why isn't there more about this now? But we're still kind of working through, there's like documents and lawyers and all of that kind of thing. So you just gotta be patient. I promise you that we are not gonna let a partnership with FIFA go unnoticed, okay? So we will be, we will be doing things uh, with it. But you know, as is our fashion, right? We do it properly. We don't jump the gun, we don't do it wrong. We just like, we make sure all the, you know, the T's are dotted and whatnot. So, um, but these numbers are pretty big, right? Like, uh, how many people do you think watch football globally? How many? How many billion? Five. Five billion people watching, just to recap, men running back and forth on a, never mind though. Um, and you know, LimeWire, they're looking for a million people this year, a million onboarded this year. Um, Nigeria, does anybody know the population of Nigeria? Bilal. 250 million people, yeah. So it's a lot of people. We're talking about a lot of people. We're talking about a lot of walls. We're talking about a big ass ecosystem that we are all building together. And so I just couldn't be more proud to be, you know, a small piece of this. And I couldn't be more proud to be here with you guys and, um, and having such a fun event and of all these kinds of partnerships to, um, to uh, explain to you. Okay, so those are some of the big announcements about partnerships. But we have more, there's more, there's more. Um, and could I please call up uh, Joanna Moran, please, to this. Uh, she runs uh, developer outreach and engagement for us at the foundation. She is the one, she's the brainchild behind all of this. And if you have any, we have reached an agreement. If you have any compliments about today, please direct them to me. And any complaints you have, please, to <laughs> Joanna. That's how, we're, that's how we're working it out. Okay, so what do you, what do you, what do you, do you have anything to announce? What do you, what do you got going on over there? Well, developers, developers, developers. I don't have a green shirt on and I'm not gonna dance around the stage, but um, developers are our bread and butter. And what do developers, like what do they like to do? They like to build. They like to build, and how yeah. do, yeah, do they like to, are they builders? Okay, and how do, what do they want from us in order to build? Like anything, anything you think that they'd want that you wanna give them? Well, we just need, a, we need to have a place, a safe place mm -hmm. that they can, uh, you know, hash out their ideas and build mm -hmm. and we can nurture them, their little seedlings. Uh-huh, yeah. okay. And so if you're gonna do stuff, are you gonna do it in one place or are you gonna do it all over the world? No, we're gonna do it all over the world. Okay, now, um, and what kinds of, before we give the name, what are we kind of talking about doing all over the world? Uh, we're gonna do a Global Hack Series. Global oh, Hack Series, ladies and gentlemen, Global Hack Series like none you have ever seen before. So, and if you're going to nurture things through your hackathons, and you, are you two on your cell phones? Right there, NF domain, NF, NFDs, are you on your cell phones? <laughs> wow, okay, all right, okay, all right, all right, okay, okay, all right, yeah, all right. Um, okay, so if you are a carbon negative layer one, and you want to help young, tech entrepreneurs grow through a hackathon series. What are you gonna call that hackathon series? Greenhouse Hit Hacks, it. yeah baby, Greenhouse Hacks. So this was uh, Joanna's, uh, your, your brainchild of a name, right? Well, I, I mean, uh, you know, there's lots of, there's lots of hack series. Um, okay. but this is, this is Algorands. This is the place that developers know that there is like a place to hack in whatever continent you're in. So they're gonna go online first, um, and then we will bring them into real life as well. Okay, yeah. and um, they are not just for green developers though, correct? Right, you are, we are calling it Greenhouse because it's like uh, de developers of all kinds, right? Okay, yeah. oh, FIFA, I'm so sorry. No, it's all right. Oh, and I forgot about, oh my God, I forgot about Decipher. All right, let's do, we'll talk about that at last. Let's talk about our hacks, okay. So this is Greenhouse Hacks. Um, so what's really important, is that this is not just focusing on startups that are environmentally focused. This is NFTs, DeFi, impact, everything that's being built on Algorand. And if you are building on Algorand, you are already environmentally 
Right, and right. Gonna... She's completely worried that you're going to mistake yeah. this for only thinking it's a green. Like she's told me like 10 times, remember to tell them that it's not just for green uh, yeah. developers. So, okay. So where is the next one? So we are, it's going online. Uh, it starts on July 18th. Um, and then uh, we will be going in real life in Singapore. In Singapore. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Singapore. See how good I am with this thing? Okay, and then what is happening after Singapore? Uh, then we will, it'll go online. So after Singapore, there'll be uh, in real life hack for four or five days, and then it'll go online again. Um, and it's being powered by Gitcoin. So, okay. Yeah. So everyone that's familiar, we've already used Gitcoin for our hacks. Mm -hmm. um, and then it'll go online. And then in January, it'll be in Barcelona. Barcelona, people. OK, Singapore and then Barcelona. And then where, there's another one coming up. Where is that one going to be? TBD. Oh, you're not going to tell us? <laughs> no. Come on. <laughs> no. Give us a hint. Give us a continent. Uh, uh, Asia. OK, Asia again. OK, it's not going to be in Singapore, though, I'm guessing. It's no. going to be someplace else in Asia. No, okay. somewhere with a lot of developers. All right, OK. Yeah. So those are our hacks. So basically, we want a hack to be happening every day somewhere in the world. And we're just going to just be ramping up. And for these hackathons, we are in for the long term. We haven't been as good at providing those globally for you. But we are. this is new in 2022. And Joe has got all kinds of plans to lead, to lead these things all over the world, both online and in person. So we're pretty excited about that. Yeah. So it's, it's live now. So all developers sign up. Go to the, you can go back. You can. Yeah. We're leaving um, little flyers around. You can take um, QR codes. And take oh, a snap QR of codes, it. right? Can yeah. you do it right from the? Yeah, you can go back. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, cool, and let's register, and we will see you on the road at our greenhouse hacks. Yeah. Okay, and then Ooh. decipher. Yay! Who's coming to decipher? Okay, I want to see all of you there. This is going to be so much fun. You who? Okay, well, who went to decipher last year? OK, not that many of you. Oh, that's so interesting. OK, so this is going to be three days of like tech and community and entrepreneurs and a little bit of mayhem. And it's going to be so much fun. we got a beautiful space. And so we really hope that as many of you can, um, that can can come. And so uh, we are pretty excited about that as well. OK, so the last thing I'm going to share with you is that it is cocktail hour. So please, everybody go outside, have a good time, and thank you so much for coming today. We really appreciate you all being here. All right.